Well hello and welcome again to Edison Light Globes. I'm Phil Greenwood and today we're going to tackle something um, that may be a little bit complex. It's uh, the subject of low voltage lighting, what it's for, where you use it and how as a DIY we supply products that you can use uh, in a low voltage situation. Now to explain it is difficult for people who uh, think they know what 12 volts is for and they think it's fairly complicated, they're wrong. It's extremely complicated. The difficulty is voltage, wattage, lumens, current, they're all quantified and they're all things that probably most people don't quite understand. However, to explain roughly, most houses uh, have a mains voltage which is supplied through generation of electricity. Now in most countries that's 220 to 240 volts. In North America that's 110, 120 volts. And in Japan it's 100, uh, something like 100 volts. So the mains voltage is there to carry power right through the house. It's an efficient way to carry a lot of power so that the uh, power doesn't get consumed as a result of going through wires. Um, in fact, high tension, cross country, interstate lines, they're very high voltage, say 20,000 volts. Now, in, in essence, we're talking about low voltage around 12 volts today and 12 volts for uh, the situation where you may find it required in a bathroom, where you want to wire a lamp, which is low voltage, maybe a lamp for a kid's bedroom or something. And the idea is low voltage at 12 volts can't kill you. It is the voltage or the height of the voltage or the level of the voltage that is the problem. Now low voltage is considered anything under 40 volts and that's in any country. So to get the 12 volts to do our job we've got to use a transformer. Now we have a couple of transformers here. The first one I'll show you is a little plug-in. Oh, you see that? It's a little thing that plugs into a wall socket. Um, and the great thing is these come with a strain adapter. They also come with a, I'm going to guess, a UK adapter. And also an adapter for a North American socket, which is fantastic. Which means the same device can be used in any country. Now on the other end of this, we have a little um, plug. What do you call these plugs? I don't know. See this little plug here? This plugs in to our device, whatever it is, and then we can unplug it. Now, we use these by creating a connection to our cable through a little solder joint. So these are just a little joint that we solder and then heat shrink onto this little plug. And that plug comes with the transformer. Now, the reason we use those is for this type of lamp. So where you're at home maybe and you want to create your own DIY lamp for a bedroom or whatever and you don't want to do electrical compliance, you don't want to do safety, you don't want to worry about it, you wire it up, wire this little plug and connect our low voltage plug, wall socket adapter and then you're providing 12 volts through a regular lamp holder it can be regular cable and then all you need is a 12 volt globe. So to that end we have a range. We have a uh, what's this 5 watt, 6 watt, I can't read it, 5 watt LED and that's uh, a 2700K 5 watt fairly bright LED. Um, that's really useful. The other globe we have, it's getting windy now. The other globe we have is a 5 watt, 5 watt GLS, so a regular size. So a nice little bulb that's just for regular solutions. We also have a globe that is a little candelabra bulb, so E14. And this might be used for bathrooms for chandeliers that sort of thing where you want 12 volt in an area where you need the safety. Um, we also have some tubes so we have a oh look at that it's like a little bag 
little frosted tube. Uh, I think that's two watts. Not very bright. And also a similar tube. Oops. Just in a clear glass fitting. So a decorative bulb for what might be small lamps or chandeliers, specialist bathroom lights, whatever. Now, having said all that, the cable. We do supply, here it is. We do supply specialist low voltage cable. I'm gonna hold this up. Now we've shown you this before and this is basically the same cable that we have for pendants but with different colored insulators, red and black. And it really signifies that this is definitely for low voltage use, not for mains. Um, however, if you want a decorative cable and you want to use a cable that we supply, um, virtually any of those cables can be used, even though the insulators will be a different color. Um, the proviso is that you don't overdrive the cable. It's a bit complicated, but as long as you're only using a, a small driver and a, you know, two or three globes, up to about 20 watts, you can power 12 volt through these cables and it'll be safe. Now, the other situation where you would use low voltage is, is in a bathroom and you might want to use a, a bare bulb pendant above a bath or encroaching into a zone that needs um, low voltage. So for that purpose, we supply a number of drivers. Now I've got to get my glasses on and I think this is, how many watts that? You can't see it either. 40? 50 or 40, I need my glasses on. Yeah. It's alright. Um, gee, 60 watts. So, a 60 watt driver, which probably is a bit big for the 20 watts I was suggesting. You might want to use low voltage cable and a number of drops for that. Uh, more common is this one, and this is I think a dimmable driver. So you can actually dim the globes on these. Uh, and this one is, gee, look at that. Wish they'd tell me, 20, 20, 20 watts. <laughs> That's a 20 watt driver, which again, two or three globes, um, a bare bulb pendant, regular cable, put it in the ceiling. I'm not sure how you do that in North America with a junction box, but anyway. Most countries, just put it in the ceiling, run 12 volts out of it, through a regular system, a ceiling rose, a cable, a lamp holder, one of these low voltage globes, and there you go. 12 volts, low voltage, perfectly safe. Um, doesn't matter what happens, anybody pulls the globe, puts their finger in, gets water on, you can't hurt yourself because it's less than 40 volts, which is that critical low voltage threshold. So I don't think 40 volts would kill you, I don't think 50 volts would kill you, but certainly 240 volts if you touch it, I can kill you. So now, I think we've covered just about everything. What I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to plug one of these in to show you how bright, oops, how bright the cable, or the globes are. I can't get it. So what I need to do, I can't move it across, you've hooked it. Oh, okay. So, um, what we'll do is, we'll plug this in. So that's plugged into our little light. So we've got a little plug there with a little blue, you have to come over, a little blue light that shows us that it's on. It's now plugged in and we flick this little switch and we've got what is a, a small light, a little hole over junk there. But what, it, what this does is it, it enables us to use components like this switch that aren't compliant, that are, um, you shouldn't use for 240 volts. You might want to put a switch into a tap. You might want to do all the things that you see on YouTube, create a very dangerous uh, mains voltage device, uh, but instead use a little plug-in 12 volt system. Now, I suppose the reason that we introduced this is because we do see a lot of people, especially in North America, making plumbing pipe lights with things in them that aren't safe. Um, 
and I, I know a lot of people uh, locally and overseas here see those videos and assume that'll be okay at 240 volts. Now, it's anything but safe. Uh, play it safe, use low voltage, so that it doesn't matter how long you have the lamp, it can be used safely. So there you go, I think we've just about done it. Um, that's about all we want to do. I wasn't going to do that, all covered. So thanks for uh, watching, thanks for subscribing. Do all the thumbs up and all that stuff. And I think we're getting close to um, a thousand subscribers and I just assume, is that right? I think we're going to do a, a t-shirt to the thousandth, thousandth subscriber. Um, I don't know how we're going to find out who's the one thousandth. If you think you are, let us know and we'll send you a t-shirt. So thanks for watching. Bye for now and we'll see you very soon.